A Memorial Villages police officer shot and killed a man during a struggle last night. It happened outside Memorial Herman Memorial City Medical Center. That's at Gessner and the Katy Freeway. Yesterday afternoon, officers pulled over a man and a woman in a car, and they also had a nine-month-old baby with them. Police believe they were stealing people's mail. The car was filled with it. The man eventually was shocked with the taser and taken to the hospital. He was released at 930 last night and escorted by that officer from Memorial Villages to pay, be taken in for fingerprinting. But he broke free and ran to the hospital parking garage where police say he tried to grab the officer's gun. There was some type of struggle or pulling against each other. And at some point uh, he reached for her firearm and subsequent to that she fired what we know it was at least two rounds that struck the suspect. And that suspect ended up dying. Police say the woman with him had five different warrants out of Burleson County near College Station, all for mail theft. The nine month old baby in their car is now in the care of CPS. Happening today, leaders at Fort Hood are expected to publicly talk about the disappearance of Houston native Vanessa Guillen for the very first time. New video shows the crime scene in Colleen Tuesday night. We were the first to tell you about a military suspect in this case who died by suicide. A witness captured video of a road taped off. A civilian suspect is now in custody, but no other information has been released. Guillen is from Houston. ABC 13 reporter TJ Parker uh, is there in Southeast Houston this morning with how she is being honored. Good morning to you, TJ. Yeah, good morning to you as well, Samika. Not more than a day since Vanessa Guillen's family spoke in D.C. about her disappearance. This tribute, this mural here on the side of Taqueria del Sol was put up. This is here at Park Place Boulevard near the Gulf Freeway. Yeah, crowds gathered here last night to pay their respects. This comes a little more than a day after remains were found in Bell County near where the search for her began last week. Her family believes it's her. The medical examiner still has to confirm it, though. Guillen is from Houston and went to Chavez High School. Not too far from here, the school tweeted out this class picture for extending their condolences to her family and people across Houston are doing the same. Well-known artists, Donkey Boy and Donkey Mob, most recently known for painting the George Floyd mural, painted this one to show their respect for Guillen. Street art, it falls under the street art category because it's, it's public art, uh, but uh, that's the point of it, for people to drive by and, and look at it and engage with it and and hopefully feel something. Now, Fort Hood officials tell us the estranged wife of a soldier has been arrested in connection with Guillen's disappearance and is awaiting charges. Another suspect, a junior soldier, took his own life yesterday morning in Killeen. Now, we understand the uh, Army will give us an update on this case at 2 this afternoon in Fort Hood. Of course, ABC 13 will be there and bring that to you. Reporting in Southeast Houston this morning, I'm TJ Parker, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. This morning, a man riding his new motorcycle in Baytown was killed. And investigators say the driver of a pickup turned left onto a street around 1130 last night and crashed into that motorcyclist who died at the hospital. The driver of the pickup was taken into custody and will be checked to see whether he was impaired. Today, ABC 13 is taking your questions about COVID-19 and the state's reopening, and we'll take them straight to the governor who admits he reopened too soon. The governor is one of our panelists for tonight's ABC 13 virtual town hall. You'll also hear from the CEO of the Texas Restaurant Association and from a number of Houston doctors. And our anchor, Tom Abrams, will moderate it. We're going to talk about masks and the mandate of them in certain parts of the state. We'll be talking about schools. We'll be talking about bars and the closure of them at the state level and what it means for restaurants and other business owners going forward as this state fights what has been in recent weeks a surge of COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations. Well, you can submit your questions inside abc13.com and our news app. And you just have to scroll down a bit to the bottom of the page. It begins tonight at 7 and lasts one hour. You can stream that town hall on those same platforms, as well as our Facebook page and YouTube and connected TV apps. Well, because of the COVID pandemic, there will be a lot of beach closures on this 4th of July weekend. Starting today, Sylvan Beach Park in Laporte will close. Tomorrow, Jamaica Beach and the city of Galveston will also be closing down their beaches for the holiday weekend. In. Surfside Beach in Brazoria County will be closed to vehicles beginning tomorrow. Galveston says the seawall will remain open, but it will be for exercise only. All right, well, Margarita Palooza yes. is coming to Taco Cabana starting tomorrow. Yay. The restaurant chain will feature 12 margarita flavors, including frosé, prickly pear, and Dr. Pepper margarita. Each of those drinks 
Two dollars all day. Rosé. Every day. Mm. Rosé. Rosé. I speak French. All right. Well, a few <laughs> minutes ago, Bluebell tweeted some news here in honor of National Ice Cream Month. Milk and Cookies ice cream yes. is returning to stores for mm. a limited time. Bluebell says it's delicious vanilla ice cream with a chocolate chip cookies. I bet that would go with a frosé, <laughs> a, a frosé margarita. Frosé. Right? frosé. I'll take a frosé on the side. <laughs> Especially on a day like today. Can you imagine? Oh my gosh, frosé in one hand. Ah, oh, that ice cream in the other. <laughs> well, you got to eat it, drink it fast. Temperature readings this afternoon in the upper 90s. We'll start off the morning with clouds, afternoon sunshine. You factor in the humidity, friends. You know the drill. 100 to 105. Closer to the coastline, we're talking upper 90s. Air quality forecast because of the dust, still unhealthy for sensitive groups. The dust expected to thin out as we get into the weekend. Notice the building rain chances, only 20%. So that's good news for those of you that will be social distancing responsibly outdoors with friends or maybe even family. There will be an isolated threat for some showers and maybe even a few fireworks in the sky when it comes to the lightning and thunder, but mainly out toward Louisiana. So if that's where your travels are taking you, you you will see a better chance of seeing that wet weather, keeping a 20% chance here in Houston. But notice the rain chances will be building more moisture moving into our area. So early next week, 40% chance of some thunderstorms with highs in the low 90s. Okay, that's all the time we have this morning. We hope you have a froze day. <laughs> what kind of day does that mean? A good day. <laughs> a right. really good one. <laughs> Join us on ABC13.com as well as our news app. We have all the breaking developing stories there. Have a great day.